Smartphone Video Tips. Here are a few things you can do to increase the quality and effectiveness of your smartphone videos. Get tight and focused. Make sure to get the phone close to your subject. This can be uncomfortable for the person being recorded, but it creates a better picture for your viewer. Avoid using the zoom to get close. Zooming in magnifies the subject, but also magnifies any movement. After establishing your shot, focus it. You can do this on most smartphones by tapping the subject on the screen. An unfocused shot can be very distracting. Keep it horizontal. When you shoot vertically, you decrease the viewability of your video. This is because video players are optimized for widescreen, so make sure to record horizontally. Steady your shot. Keep your phone steady. Use a tripod or steady it on a table or even on the shoulder of someone else. Like unfocused video, shaky video can be very distracting and difficult to follow. Light it up. Make sure your subject is well lit and out of the shadows. It makes for a much better picture. Put the light source, whether it is a lamp or the sun, behind the camera, not behind the person. You don't want your subject to look like they're part of the witness protection program. Use existing light to your advantage. Take off lampshades or even use brighter light bulbs if necessary. To even out lighting, try using anything white or reflective to bounce the light and fill your subject. Get clean audio. People will more likely tolerate bad video than bad audio. When recording from the built-in mic on your smartphone, you are the closest to it, so your voice and any sound you make will pick up better than your subject. So, this is a regular rolling ball here. To get better quality audio from your smartphone, it's best to connect an external microphone. Some earbuds come with a microphone built right in. If you have one, use it. You might find it useful to use two smartphones in this case. Use smartphone number one to record the audio. Place it next to your subject with the headphone mic pinned to their clothing just below the neck. Use smartphone number two to record the visual. Press record on both smartphones and you're set. Unless you started recording at the exact same time, you'll need to sync these clips later. So use a clapboard if you have one or simply clap your hands to indicate the start of the clips to help line up the audio from smartphone one with the video from smartphone two. Hear the difference yourself with an external mic. We are here in the University of Minnesota bowling alley at Kaufman. Without an external mic. Talking about the physics of bowling. Um, so this is a regular bowling ball here. Play it back. Before you actually start recording, do a few test clips to ensure it looks and sounds exactly as you'd like. It's a good habit to also play back your recorded videos before heading home. This may save you a lot of time in the long run. By following these easy tips, you'll increase the quality and effectiveness of your smartphone video. Good luck recording!